too, it's a little early, five minutes. Do I need to test or anything? Okay. Mother made all holy, throned upon thy knee, evermore the almighty child and Lord we see. While with awe thou gazest on the wondrous face, blessed among all women, Mary full of grace. We bow in homage and adoration to thee, our heavenly mother, queen of the heavens, star of the sea, guardian of humanity. We greet thee and thine angel hosts, shedding beauty and blessing among men and in nature. May we serve thee in our fellow men. O Holy Lady, Mother of the world, Queen of love and compassion, with all our hearts we pour out our love and devotion at thy feet, and we offer ourselves as channels of thy wondrous tenderness as agents of thine ever ready help. We pray thee to use us in thy holy work that we may grow like thee, our glorious mother. O Holy Mother, Queen of our hearts, we dedicate our lives to thy service. Ave Maria, gratia plena. Angels and archangels, now around the maid, where the world's creator on her knees is laid, where she worships o'er him, God and man in one, son of highest heaven, Mary's royal son. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Bishop, may hear me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
May the Lord purify me that I may worthily perform his service. In the strength of the Lord do I repel all evil from this his holy altar and sanctuary. And from this house wherein we worship him. And I pray our Heavenly Father that he will send his holy angel to build for us a spiritual temple through which his strength and blessing may be poured forth upon his people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, now let us lay the foundation of our temple. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. We are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Except the Lord build the house, their labor is but lost that build it. The foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. Let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. O Lord, thou hast created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of thine own eternity. Yet often we forget the glory of our heritage and wander from the path which leads to righteousness. But thou, O Lord, hast made us for thyself and our hearts are ever restless till they find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections and pardon all our shortcomings that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting light and become the unspotted mirror of thy power and the image of thy goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and sanctify you. The Lord in his loving kindness look down upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord absolve you from all of your sins and grant you the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With praise and with prayer shall our temple be built. To God alone be the glory. Be blessed by him in whose honor thou art burned. Make straight the way of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory be to the Glory be to God in the highest and on earth, peace to men of good will. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord Christ, alone born of the Father, O Lord God, indwelling light, Son of the Father, whose wisdom mightily and sweetly ordereth all things, pour forth thy love. Thou whose strength upholdeth and sustaineth all creation, receive our prayer. Thou whose beauty shineth through the whole universe, unveil thy glory. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou art the old Christ with the Holy Ghost. High in the glory of God the Father. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God of love, we praise thee, we bless thee. With all our hearts do we thank thee and magnify thy name for this most holy and wondrous festival of Easter. For in the glorious victory, which in it is commemorated and symbolized, thou hast given us the sure and certain witness that good shall finally triumph over ill, and that death is but a gateway to the ineffable splendor of eternal life in thee, O never-setting Son of righteousness, who livest and reignest God forever and ever. Amen. We praise thee, O Lord, for the example and assistance given to us by thy holy martyr, St. Alvin, the patron of our church throughout the world. And we pray thee that under his protection, thy church may continually serve thee in all good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who art the strength of all them that put their trust in thee, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. We commend to thy fatherly goodness those who are afflicted in this pandemic and in, the, in our midst. And we pray thee to strengthen and bless those who minister unto them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord Christ, who for her wondrous humility and purity hath exalted the Holy Lady Mary among the hosts of heaven. Grant that we thy people may so follow that her most noble example, that we may at the latter end be found worthy to serve thee, even as do thy holy angels, thou who livest and reignest in glory forevermore. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, with all our hearts, we praise thee for the great glory of thy most holy archangel, St. Michael, and all thy holy angels. We thank thee for their wonderful wisdom, their supreme strength, their radiant beauty, and as their resistless power is used always and utterly in thy service, 
So may we, following zealously their splendid example, devote ourselves wholly to the helping of our brethren through Christ our Lord. Amen. Teach us, O Lord, to see thy life in all the peoples of thine earth, and so guide the nations into an understanding of thy laws, that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The epistle is taken from the 15th chapter of the first epistle of St. Paul to the apostle, uh, of the apostle, to the Corinthians, begin at the 12th verse. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. For some man will say, how are the dead raised up and with what body do they come? That which thou sowest is not quickened except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not. That body which shall be, but bear grain. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every kind of seed a body of its own. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. For there is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. So this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the gradual is the special gradual for Easter. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with the old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ is risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Blessed by him in whose honor thou art burned. It's great the way of the Lord. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O God, who by the hand of thy seraph didst cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal from thine altar. And in thy loving kindness so purify me that I may worthily proclaim thy holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
May the Lord be in my heart and upon my lips, that through my heart the love of God may shine forth, and through my lips his power be made manifest. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel is taken from the 28th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the first verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. As it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and become as dead men. And the angel said unto the women, Fear ye not, for I know that ye seek Jesus, who was crucified. Why seek ye the living amidst the dead? He is not here. He has risen, as he said. Come and see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell the disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, all hail. And they came and took him by the feet and worshiped him. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Friends, I greet you in the name of the Lord with the traditional greeting of Easter, which for thousands of years has been called forth. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Uh, we find ourselves in a very unique position in the midst of this pandem pandemic. We know that uh, uh, gatherings of more than 10 are not permitted, and so we are trying to do our best streaming live <clears throat> this celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this day of days where Christians are concerned, the Feast of the Resurrection, the most important festival of Easter. You know, I was thinking about what we find ourselves in the midst of with this pandemic, and I was reminded of the fact that not only we as individuals have our own karma, but groups have their own group karma, and even nations, and even the world itself. And so we might look at this situation as a working out of some global karma. So hopefully we can take this as a wake-up call to make sure that we are walking in line with the will of God. Karma is not some hard retribution. Karma is nature's way of bringing equilibrium back to a situation. As there are actions, so there are reactions. And so each one of us needs to look at this time that we have alone by ourselves and reevaluate our own lives as well. 
But first and foremost, as Christians, we must keep before us this great light which dawns this morning. This great revelation that good shall ultimately triumph over ill and all shall be well. I, this morning, I thought of these words from the Romans in the 8th chapter, in which St. Paul says, We know that all things work together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. If God is for us, who can be against us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, all these things, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor future nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us remember today, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. And now unto God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three persons in one God be ascribed as is most justly due, all might, majesty, power, and dominion, now, henceforth, and forevermore. Amen. Yeah. Let us continue with our act of faith. We believe that God is love and power and truth and life, that perfect justice rules the world, that all his sons shall one day reach his feet, however far they stray. We hold the brotherhood of God, the brotherhood of man. We know that we do serve him best when best we serve our brother man. So shall his blessing rest on us and peace forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Richard. No, just the wine. We adore thee, O God, who art the source of all life and goodness, and with true and thankful hearts we offer unto thee this token of thine own life-giving gifts bestowed upon us, thou who art the giver of all. According to immemorial custom, we now mix water with this wine. 
praying to you, Lord, that we may ever more abide in Christ and he in us. Unto thee, O Lord, this chalice with joy and gladness. May the worship which we offer ascend before thy divine majesty as a sacrifice pure and acceptable in thy sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be blessed by him in whose honor thou art burnt, make straight the way of the Lord. Now in aspiration, I leave these oblations to myself, body, soul, and spirit. And I shield them in the name and power of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Offer unto God the Father, spirit, souls, and bodies, to God the Son, spirit, souls, and bodies, to God the Holy Ghost, spirit, and bodies. We will receive from Christ our Lord all that we can of strength, harmony, and knowledge. May his strength be sure to look for his grace, as it is above, so be Order, service, adaptability, devotion, may his strength be a sure shield for his grace as above, so beneath. As this incense arises before thee, O Lord, so let our prayer be set forth in thy sight. Let thy holy angels encompass thy people and breathe forth upon them the spirit of thy blessing. May the Lord enkindle within us the fire of his love and the flame of everlasting charity. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, and so will I go into thine altar. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. My foot standeth right. I will praise the Lord in the congregations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Brethren, we have built a temple for the distribution of Christ's power. Now let us prepare a channel for its reception, and to that end pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hand, and thanks by our lives and service. We lay before thee, O Lord, these thy creatures of bread and wine, linking them spiritually with ourselves, and praying me to receive through them our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. For here we offer and present unto thee ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a holy and continual sacrifice unto thee. May our strength be spent in thy service and our love poured forth upon thy people, thou who livest forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who by his mystic death and rising again hath given unto us the promise of everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, 
with thrones, dominations, princedoms, virtues, powers, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, these terribations have served as tokens and channels of our love and devotion toward thee. But now we pray thee to receive, to purify, and to hallow them as earthly channels of thy wondrous power. We desire to offer this holy sacrifice, especially for thy holy Catholic Church, for Donald Trump, the president of these United States and all that are put in authority under him, for all our bishops, clergy, and faithful, for those here present and for all who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, especially those who suffer from this current pandemic. And for those who are again <clears throat> about to enter this earthly life through the portal of birth, and likewise for their mothers to be, especially. Likewise, do we offer it for all those children who have been delivered from the burden of the flesh, especially. that freed from earthly toil and care, they may enjoy the felicity of thy presence. Evermore praising thee in word and deed, O God, everlasting, living and true. Wherefore, O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, we pray thee to look down on and accept as a channel these offerings, and with thy Holy Spirit in word to bless, approve, and ratify them, that they may become for us the most precious body and blood of thy son, who the day before he suffered, took bread into his holy and venerable hands with his eyes lifted up to heaven and to thee, God is almighty father, giving thanks to thee. He blessed, brake, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take and drink ye, uh, and take and eat this, for this is my body. In like manner, after he had supped, taking also this noble chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks unto thee, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this, for this is my blood. As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me.
Thee we adore, O sp splendor Thee, who in Thy sacrament dost deign to be. We worship Thee beneath this earthly veil, and here Thy presence we devoutly hail. O come, all ye faithful, joyful, and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, monarch of the angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, throned on thine altar, ever to thee be highest glory given. Word of the Father, splendor everlasting. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Amen. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we, thy humble servants, bearing in mind the ineffable sacrifice of thy Son, do offer unto thee this, the most precious gift which thou hast bestowed upon us. In token of our love and of the perfect devotion and sacrifice of our minds and hearts to thee. And we pray that thou wouldst command thy holy angel to bear our oblation to thine altar on high, there to be offered by him who, as the eternal high priest, forever offers himself as the eternal sacrifice. And we do pray for thy servant and ministers at this altar that meetly celebrating the mysteries of thy most holy body and blood of thy son, he may be filled with thy mighty power and blessing. Likewise, we pray thee to sanctify thy people here present with these thy heavenly gifts. And through these mysteries do thou hallow quicken and bless them that both in their hearts and in their lives they may show forth thy praise and glorify thy holy name. All these things do we ask, O Father, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Son, for all we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips. All these things we ask, O Father, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Son, for we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips that by him were all things made, yea, all things, both in heaven and earth. With him as the indwelling life do all things exist, and in him as the transcendent glory all things live and move and have their being. To whom with thee, Almighty Father, in the unity of thy Spirit, be ascribed all Jesus. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by the words of sacred scripture, and following the tradition of Holy Church from the old, let us now say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Here do we give unto thee, O Lord, most high praise and heartfelt thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in the Holy Lady Mary, our Heavenly Mother. And in all thy glorious saints from the beginning of the world who have been the choice vessels of thy grace and a shining light unto many generations. And we join with them in worship before thy great white throne, whence flow all love and light and blessings through all the worlds which thou hast made. O Son of God, who showest thyself this day upon a thousand altars, and yet art one and indivisible in token of that great sacrifice, we break this thy body. 
praying that by this action ordained from of old, thy strength, thy peace, and thy blessing may be spread abroad upon thy world. And as thou, O Lord Christ, was made known to thy disciples in the breaking of bread, so may thy many children know themselves to be one in thee, even as thou art one with the Father. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. O thou who in this adorable sacrament has left us a living memorial and pledge of thy marvelous love for mankind, and dost therein graciously draw us into wondrous and mystic communion with thee, grant us so to receive the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that our souls may be lifted into the immensity of thy love, and that being filled with a high endeavor, we may ever be mindful of thine indwelling presence and breathe forth the fragrance of a holy life. Amen. Ye who desire to partake of the body and blood of our Lord, draw nigh and receive this most holy sacrament. Body of our Lord Christ, keep thee unto life eternal. Amen.
Under the veil of earthly things, now have we communion with our Lord Jesus Christ. Soon with open face shall we behold him, and rejoicing in his glory be made like unto him. Then shall his true disciples be brought by him with exceeding joy, be our blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. We who have been refreshed with thy heavenly gifts who pray thee, O Lord, that thy grace may be so grafted inwardly in our hearts that it may continually be made manifest in our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. May the holy ones whose pupils you aspire to become show you the light you seek, give you the strong aid of their compassion and their wisdom. There is a peace that passeth all understanding and abides in the hearts of those who live in the eternal. There is a power that maketh all things new. It lives and moves in those who know the self as one. May that peace brood over you, that power uplift you, till you stand where the one initiator is invoked, till you see his star shine forth. Amen. 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 Amen.